In this video I'm going to do a quick run version, like a speed run of uh, the ball rolling uh, demo, just so that you can recap it quickly without having to watch the whole clip. Um, so we're going to go for the rolling demo, no starter content, ball game, quick, create the project. As soon as it loads, there we go. So, first thing we're going to do is just check our levels all there, it's all working. We're going to add the trigger box uh, into the corner here, and we're just going to scale it up so that it fits uh, into the corner as we need. Once we've done that and checked it's in the right place, we are then going to add our blueprint using the uh, level blueprint. Going to check that the context is on. We want the begin overlap event. And we're going to print string open level. And then we're going to open level, and this would go to level 2, which we need to make in a second. Compile that, that's all fine. Save. We're then going to uh, head to our maps, and we're going to Create level two. Save that one. So now we're inside level two. We're just going to rename the text that's in the middle of the level. Level two. And we're just going to alter some of these boxes here. Like so. Hit save again. We need to modify our blueprint for this level because we now want it to go on to level 3. And we could also just give ourselves a little message just to say level 3 there as well just to make it a bit easier to debug if there's a problem. Hit save again. Um, we're going to uh, duplicate uh, our levels again. So just go file, save as, and this time we're going to go for level 3. Save. Level 3, saving anything that it asks for. We're going to rename the floor so it says level 3. We're going to modify our, modify our blueprint. So this for now potentially would be opening level 4 if we had a level 4. I'm going to stop at this point because you kind of get the idea from there. Okay, we're going to just do a save all. And we're going to open up our first level again, just to check everything works as we need it to work. We also need to change the angles of that uh, camera and the ball speed as well. So that should take us off to level 2 as it does. And level 2 should then take us off to level 3. So that's all working properly. <laughs> Let's fix the ball. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to fix this in each of the uh, separate levels, I think. Unless, actually, what we could do is just modify the uh, the blueprint for the ball. So if we click on the ball here, open, click the Edit Blueprint, um, we 
can just have a quick look inside here. We can alter the roll talk um, directly here and reset its default value to uh, 25 and also adjust that spring arm uh, as well to be slightly lower. So something like that we had it set to. That should then reset it for, for each of those different levels now. That applies it across the whole game because we've actually altered the blueprint. So there we are. So that works nicely. Um, let's add our uh, dangerous um, kill boxes. So we're just going to go to the uh, blueprint here. Oops. We're going to add our new blueprint class, actor class. I think we called it kill box. We're going to Go in here, we're going to add our, there we are, add our cube, and then we're also going to add our box collision and set the scale for that to be 2. Setting the padlock so it scales it equally. And we're going to, in our event graph, print string give it a little message use our open level technique to reset the level using the get current level name we need to link it like this don't we and then add our conversion in like so, so print string, get current level name, open level, just check it all works, save. And then finally, we wanted to make the kill box look a bit more dangerous, so we were going to look at the material, we're going to duplicate that material, call it red, change the diffuse color to more of a red color get save in that and just open our kill box here select the viewport and choose our red material and just test this as well, so we'll put a test box in there, check that it works, that should now reset the level as it does, yep, there we are, and we can just check everything works, so level 2, Add a few more of these kill boxes in just to make it trickier. And level three. We can add a few more. ourselves a little um, a little game to be playing. So there we are. Real quick game that you can construct and then spend some proper time actually designing each of the levels.